Hi again, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two. As we review some of the great old films and TV shows on the Vintage Film Channel, um, today Art picked a favorite from my childhood. I, I, not really a favorite, but one that I remember distinctly, The Pinky Lee Show. You're going to love this. Yeah. So, by, by the way, so the really interesting thing about The Pinky Lee Show is that while he was a <laughs> well-known on the burlesque circuit for years and years and years, baggy pants, uh, slapstick, that kind of stuff, uh, he had a number of things on TV. Uh, but for most of us in our age group, we remember The Pinky Lee Show, a children's program. Yeah. That was all actually very short lived. I mean, it, it, yeah. I think it was on, on for one one year or so. He had some comebacks. He was in some other things, but it really wasn't very. But it was so memorable, you know, because yeah. of his hat and his antics and so on and so forth. That yeah. he's he. It's almost as if he was another Howdy Doody. You know, long term. He wasn't. He was only on for a short while, but he set the it, stage for people. Know. He 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 set the stage for what was the guy named Pee Wee Herman with Pee Wee's oh. house and stuff like that. Yeah. He set sort of the, the standard for those kinds of uh, things that followed him. Anyway, well, let's take a quick look at this. I, yeah. I would disagree. Pee Wee Herman uh, really was doing a parody of Pinky Lee. Sure. You know, 50, 40 years earlier, a parody of the quote classic children's show. So I, I'm. I'm not sure Pee Wee Herman is certainly related to Pinky Lee. When you see this, I, I, you're absolutely right. I was flabbergasted to find it how short the series was. Mm. It only ran for a year and a half, something like that. And I can remember, I, he or you who, it's me, my name is Pinky Lee. And, and I can remember distinctly him dancing uh, in the opening back and forth, very burlesque um, kind of moves and comedy a lot of slapstick right and and all his bits were were slapstick bits very funny stuff maybe not so funny today but i have to say that it it's almost a look back at bra at burlesque um as opposed to early children's television right. well but, anyway, you can see you can see the amazingly high quality uh, advertising that was done here and uh, <laughs> I, they must have had a big paper uh, uh, bill uh, for his entrance because I don't think they were able to reuse that. But anyway, that's yeah. his look. And that was his hat. He had a, a bit of a lisp, which was uh, sort of endearing to him. Uh, and I know that uh, uh, reincarnations of this later on, uh, he was uh, uh, his sponsors, his inline sponsor was Tootsie Roll. You know, all the, you know, anything you might imagine. And he was just a funny guy. Fast forward. All right. Fast forward to one of the stand up comedy, the, not stand up, but the comedy bits there. He, he brought in a dancer, and then there's a skit that ensues on that. Yeah. So he he did skits, and when he, in every skit, he this was his character. He's, you know, the hat, the plaid jacket, all of this, the, the lift. Oh, he just, you know, he was just so crazy. Um, very vaudeville-esque. Yeah, a, and, a bit of a nebbish. Yeah, yeah. And and a lot of fun. Even as a kid, I we found him strange, you know? But it was funny and it was silly. Right. That's the main thing. And we remember uh, him outsized as to the time that he was actually on TV. And also, I don't think it was in this show, but on a, one of his subsequent shows, uh, it's a very famous story of uh, he collapsed on stage in front of his... Uh, uh, the little kids that were in his audience. Yes. And uh, because this is the pinky, this is not the uh, the kid show, but this is more the grown up burlesque show before we had the pinky Lee that we remember as the pinky Lee show. But he actually collapsed on stage and um, uh, people thought he had died, eventually thought he had died of a heart attack. But before that, it was just because that was his, his act. It looked like his act. They were cheering him on and he was dying on stage. Yeah, literally okay. dying on stage. And it's, it is it is one of those uh, classic stories of uh, uh, of uh, mistaking a comic for doing something, yeah. and he's actually in, in distress. But he did come yeah. back. He lived, uh, uh, this was in the 50s. He lived to the 90s. As a matter of fact, two interesting uh, uh, tidbits from my life. 
is that my uh, father's brother's wife was actually like a second cousin to Pinky Lee. I'd never met him, but so there was a that kind of, and he was talked about from time to time. But uh, also he died in uh, 1993 uh, in a condo in uh, Mission Viejo, not too far from us, John. How about that? Yeah. Um, listen, folks, the bottom line is watch the Pinky Lee show. Mm -hmm. um, it's really interesting. It's only a half hour and it's quite well done. And it does look like, to me, it looks just like a live vaudeville show. Variety show, right. Coming and going and Pinky Lee uh, being the crazy comic in every in every skit. Um, so I, I think it's a great piece of history, to be real honest. And you're right, Art, about him dying or potentially dying on stage. He collapsed. And I think he was remembered in years later more for his collapsing during a right. show during a live show than he ever was for the Pinky Lee show. Uh, but yeah. for me, for me, seeing the Pinky Lee show again was a great, a great hoot. Right. So, and you who, you who, it's him. His name is Pinky Lee. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway. enjoy it. Uh, don't forget when you go to Vintage Film Channel, the YouTube uh, uh, channel, uh, that's Vintage Film, uh, subscribe so that you, we can encourage Gracie to continue uh, doing these films. And also she, uh, virtually every new film that, new new old film that she's doing, if it's not already in color, she's colorizing it. So she's added that to her, her repertoire of tricks. And um, uh, also if you enjoy watching this series, you can binge watch uh, the 30 or 40 films and TV shows that we've already done on Celebrating Act Two's YouTube channel, which is probably where you're watching this program right now. And please subscribe so that you encourage us to keep doing this kind of nonsense. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.